might be taking place and maybe even going on. Oh. All right. So Phoenix, uh, Phoenix Kalita has some uh, some good pro police copaganda for you. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you mean by copaganda, just telling you real stories about what the fuck they're actually doing. Yeah, that, that's what the people are looking for. Like, as soon as they hear <laughs> copaganda, they're like, what? I am the hip hop socialist. They get jazzed. Really? Yes. And if you are in the back of a cop car. You ain't cool unless you pee your pants. Wow. <laughs> I love the wow. I kept that on purpose. <laughs> oh. All right. So this is uh, coming out of... Oh, New Jersey. You're familiar with New Jersey. Yep, heard of it. The Garden State. Yes. Uh, so a police chief who asked to sleep with another officer's wife should be demoted. A hearing officer rules. Demoted. Just demoted. Not fired. That's, like, they asked? Yeah. Like, fully sober? Not fully sober. Oh, just just cop sober. Cop sober. Just a little, just a little bacon grease. That's all you need. Just a little. Just a little it bit. clogs up the piggy's heart so it can never grow like the Grinch's. Oh, is that the problem this whole time? Yeah, that was mad poetic, yo. <laughs> so a police chief in Cumberland County who promoted his own daughter and offered to promote another officer in exchange for sleeping with the man's wife should be demoted, according to a hearing officer. Vineland Chief Rudolph Bo the Fourth. All right. Um, who has been the city's top cop since 2017, also failed to recuse himself over a disciplinary matter involving a police officer who is the father of his grandchild. The whole fucking family is all just corrupt cops. Normal Fine. cops. Jesus. Good cops. All right. So retired judge Raymond Batten made this ruling. Um, it was determined that Bo, who is 60, denied most of the allegations against him, but also claimed nearly every charge violated a 45 uh, day statute. Of <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, sorry. The sentence is clunky, but it's really funny if you can get around it. All right. Hold on. So Bo denied the allegations against him, but also claimed nearly every charge violated a 45 day statute of limitations imposed under New Jersey law. <laughs> so right so he basically said i didn't do none of that shit but also if i did it's past the statute of limitations you can't do anything which is a weird thing to say if you didn't do the thing like why do you need to know the statute of limitations if you didn't do the thing why yes don't do now you see now a few episodes ago you folks may remember oh no that this fucking light-skinned monstrous yes was complaining that police didn't know the law well enough. Mm -hmm. And now here's a cop that is interested in the statute of limitations, wants to know the law better. Mm -hmm. And here we go. This fucking high yellow hormone monster with accompanied by an anxiety mosquito is over here complaining about a cop asking questions. Um, no, that's that's not what's happening. You're not all. a hormone monstrous? No, I'm not. Taking bubble baths? No, yeah, maybe with menopause hits. <laughs> um. <laughs> You're very beautiful. I know. Why do you smell so good? Because I don't use deodorant and I only take, take bubble baths. baths. <laughs> oh, Maya. That's responsible programming. Yes. All right. So um, Bo denied the allegations, but Batten disagreed and found Bo to be guilty, guilty of insubordination, neglect of duty, conduct unbecoming a, a public employee and other offenses. Bo could not be reached Thursday to comment and his attorney did not immediately respond to requests for comment. The most serious charge concerned uh, an alcohol fueled. See, you asked if it was completely sober. <laughs> the most serious charge concerned an alcohol fueled encounter uh, the chief allegedly have had with another officer and the man's wife on April 7th, 2017 at a sports bar. The couple claimed that Bo looked the woman up and down and then offered to promote the officer if he could take his wife home. Who says that? Who says that? Men fellers, Ugh. guys. 
Uh, the woman testified and said it made me feel extremely uncomfortable. And at that point, I got up and walked away. Uh, the officer also alleged that Bo asked about sleeping with a couple's preteen daughter. Preteen daughter. You said not fully sober. But like, okay, let's just assume that somehow I would get past asking to sleep with someone else's wife for a promotion. But preteen daughter? Like pre pre before teenage and this is why i casually talk about folks getting the ruling why even deal with them beyond that <laughs> i mean really that that's an idea you presented let, let somebody even say hey i'd like everyone to know that i am about to make a joke really let me go ahead and get out my ruling pistol <laughs> and listen for you to make this joke yeah. And then the joke is, I would like to sleep with you. Oh, hey, well, it looks like court is adjourned and the bullets do a burn. Oh, <laughs> yes. The bullets burn all rapists in Mr. Williams neighborhood. Yes. And then after all the rapists are killed, we can all be safe going down to the ice cream parlor with your number one gal. Oh, Lord. Consensually. <laughs> I'm gonna be an old time DJ. Old, old time timey. DJ. Yeah. You need like the, the hat and like the barber the barber shop oh, stripe I, shirt. I thought I had one of those hats from a retail resale shop. Do you? A gray one. Huh. I don't remember it. Yeah. I I don't know what type of hat it is though, because like they all get conflated, right? Yeah. Like Derby, Fedora, some other hat. Like they all get conflated because white feminists had a fucking they had a hat thing in 2014 they did. and i can kind of get it because the the for some reason portly i'm going with portly here mm -hmm. the portly white cis male atheist community seems to have just said that's our fucking hat Ugh. and it's the hat we're gonna use to explain things to females on the internet with mm -hmm. and y'all just say and then like me i'm just a nigga and it's like, I don't like, when I wear the hat, I'm like, I, well, I'm not looking like them white dudes. I'm wearing it in a nigga way. You see my tilt, motherfucker? Like, this is some on the block shit. Like, if I was on the West Coast, niggas would walk and be like, what up, OG? So, uh, cultural context matters. Um. Yeah, well, now, you, now I want to see the hat, so. Yeah, okay. that's a weird tangent. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. A away from you and your copaganda. Copaganda, yes. Um. All right, so in addition to asking to sleep with uh, this officer's wife and his preteen daughter, uh, the hearing officer also found that Bo promoted his own daughter, who was a Vineland Police Department, to the juvenile division, but the move occurred ahead of the promotion of another officer, whose supervisors determined needed to be transferred from patrol for medical reasons. Oh, so you're fucking ableist too. You gave your kid a job that somebody else needed, because they couldn't be on their feet like that. All right. In addition, Bo failed to recuse himself when recommending a minor to, uh, a minor reprimand to an officer who violated policies during a burglary arrest. Uh, the officer is the father of Bo's grandchild, Batten said in a report. All right. They also found that Bo refused to turn over at least 19 internal affairs files that the city had requested. I would love to know what's in those. And city officials were seeking to suspend Bo for 180 days without pay and demote him to deputy chief. Batten agreed with the demotion, but said since Bo had already been suspended without pay, a similar action would serve no purpose. Wait a minute. So this guy just goes around telling his subordinates, right? Because if he's the police chief and they're just officers. So he's telling people that he wants to sleep with their wives and their adolescent children, and they just are going to demote him to deputy chief. That's the whole thing. It's, uh, that's that the is... whole thing. Yeah, uh, police culture. It's it's the training, you see. Oh, it's the training. Okay. All right. And and you can't just change the training without consulting with someone. Mm -hmm. I don't have so much white old whiteness folks to say about that. Okay. What yeah. are the? I love that. I don't even remember what story that clip is from. It's oh, just fucking great. it was a uh, some guy who was like <laughs> in the navy and got caught talking to his wife about like how they're making all these SJW changes to the military. And he was like, 
they're just letting women in and gaze in and what are us old white men supposed to think about that like it was like a rant like that <laughs> what are you old white men supposed to think about that i'll tell you what i think cool dad what is that some old indian thing what's it for well i don't know much about indians but i do know tools and if i had to guess i'd say you jam one of these in the back of a white man's skull Twist the handle like so, and then your blood runs out through the hole here. Yep, that's what it's for. 